what up what up it's your boy trap trap trapanese spiritual trap whatever you want to call me like comment subscribe hit that notification bell so you do know when i post again go ahead smash the thumbs up my chosen ones you have to separate yourself from the pack now i know this is hard for the people that's popular that got a lot of people around them but you need to separate your pack you need to separate from the pack because you a lone wolf out here you know what i'm saying and these are you know this this is for my chosen ones and my chosen ones only all right my star seeds my divine ones the people the reason why is because these people are going to come against you okay they want you to they want you to quit they want you to give up they want you to feel like you got no hope but let me tell you something devil you a liar and the truth ain't in you people want to paint you out as a bad person but in all actuality you were the light that disturbed their demons you have the glow you have the essence you have the destination you have the anointings and appointments you speak life into others so even when you feel like you don't have any life you're not sitting there caught in a rut you're not sitting there you know stuck you might feel stuck at sometimes it's crazy too you might feel stuck at sometimes you might feel like like man you don't even have a pot to piss in you might feel like god has forgotten you but god will never forsake you this is all just a bigger plan but you need to be a lone wolf out here you need to be you need to be steadfast in this season, okay? When people are focused on material things for Christmas, or people are focused on, on external things, on, on people making them happy. Trust me, I've been there. Trust me, I'm going through it right now. You gotta be asking yourself, what are you willing to let go? I say this all the time, what are you willing to let go? Look at me. You know, they said in Corinthians about men not having long hair. And you know what? I felt convicted. So you got to feel convicted in the spirit. Okay? I'm not trying to walk around here with long hair looking like buckwheat. You know? It, it served its purpose for a minute. And then I was trying to move on. So that's what I'm saying. Certain things, it served its purpose for a minute. But you'll know if it's, if it's forever. My hair wasn't going to be forever. Okay? But being obedient, asking for repentance. Sometimes you gotta get down on your knees and cry out to him, cry out to the Lord, cry out to God. Cause he's the only one that can save you in these times. Moving on to 2024, you gotta really, really be reserved out here. You gotta, you gotta read the signs when you read the signs, you're going to boss up. When you read the signs, you're going to take care of business. When you read the signs, miracles are going to happen. Trust me. No, don't trust me. Trust God. Put in the bottom of the chat if you made this part. Say, trust God. Say, God got me. Trust God. You know, don't, don't hold back on your purpose or your destiny because you feel like you're failing. Because you feel like closed off from the world because you're not failing you're just prevailing you making sense of all this sometimes you need to take a step back okay when things don't add up when friends don't add up you need to evict things out your life you need to evict friends out your life that don't measure up to where you're trying to go and it's gonna hurt i know but building these attachments is what got you here you know, building those um, those people that just aren't for you. Okay, you know, now, when you do things for people, I'm not telling you to stop doing things for people. I'm not telling you to, you know, be a recluse. But sometimes it's okay to be in your, uh, in your isolation mode. Now, the crazy thing about it is I met a chosen one. 
I don't know if she was chosen, you know, it's chosen sister. It's crazy. I've been a chosen sister. She, you know, she's watching this. The Stones and Pawns and shout out to her. But I've never been, I've never been around a chosen one. And I've always, you know, I've always been skeptical on me and chosen ones. But when I realize that we have the same ideologies, doesn't mean that we need to hang out. Just because you're chosen, see, you're chosen for your purpose. You know what I'm saying? And just because you guys are aligning in so many ways and it seems so cool, you know, I was drawn back because during my whole journey, I never thought I'd, I'd run into one. But after putting the work in, and that's another thing too, you gotta put the work in. You gotta put the work in. Nothing's gonna come to a dreamer but a dream. You gotta put the work in. Okay? You you can manifest it all you want to, but you have to put your work in because faith without works is dead. You gotta you gotta step up to the plate. You can't just leave your gifts on the shelf. So if your gift the gift is touching people, yeah, touch people, but you still need to walk this road alone. And and, and you're not taking the road less traveled. And the lady, this, this, this young woman, this young lady seemed like she, she knew what she was talking about. But let me tell you something. I'm not, I'm not knocking it. But always be skeptical because, you know, the devil comes in many forms. You know, I'm not saying she's a devil. But what I'm saying is, you know, when you speak things into existence, they will pop up. And, you know, the girl did make me, you know, make me feel better about the day because I was going through it that day. But then I realized that it was only a small piece of the puzzle of, you know, of making me feel good. Like who, 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 what else, what else? Like, do I feel, make myself feel better? No, it was God. It was your spirit. It was your relentless. It was, it was my relentlessness. Okay. I don't take no credit for it. To be honest with you, I take that back. I don't take no credit for it. What I do take, I do take, I do acknowledge what's really going on. Okay. The devil is running around here, and he's trying to seek for who he can devour. It's not all, when you're chosen. One, it's not all about. It's not all peaches and cream. It's especially when you're chosen. It's not all peaches and cream. It's not all peaches. It's not all like, oh, I'm chosen. Oh, good things fall from the sky. Oh, I'm chosen. Oh, I got this. Oh, good thing I'm chosen. Oh, you know, she's mentioning about she she knows a chosen brother. You know what? And it's crazy because I don't know. I don't even know if she's an agent or not. You know, trying to infiltrate other chosen ones. I'm not saying, you know, all I do is just keep my distance. And then the crazy part about it is, you know, she 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 follows herself on my Instagram. We swap information, but peep game. That when it came to her following me back, she didn't follow me back. So so honey, you you know you got like seventy four out. You got seventy two hours. You feel what I'm saying? You know, just when you think you're gonna connect with somebody, here they go playing this clout game. Here they go playing this. Is is you know for whatever her reason she has. For whatever reason people have, they're gonna keep you on the side. You know, they're gonna want you to watch them. They're gonna want you to pay attention to them. And when you really need to pay attention to yourself. So, you know, Shorty, you got you got 72 hours. You got a couple more days until I'll be like, you know what? I'm hitting the unfollow button. Now she wanted to, you know, I'm I'm supporting, I'm supporting other people. You know, like yeah, helping her out. Like she wants to get her her stuff in in my store, in my mentor store. That's cool. But and then, you know, she's like, yeah, I want to look, look, look. We're already trajected to go. You're that's the whole point. You're already trajected to go where you're going. And these people will come into you and act like they're adding on things, but you really have to evaluate that. I'm not saying everybody is shady, but bro. A lot of people move with this weird spirit of just opportunist, and that's cool. You know, she asked, she could shoot a video in my in in, in my store or store where I say, 
Yeah, and I made the play happen. See, one thing about me is I'm not gonna BS you. You know, if you're gonna be involved with me, I won't BS you. If I mean it, I said I was gonna help you. I was gonna help you. Now it might not happen, you know, because I have a lot of things going on, but I'm gonna help you. You know, shout out to the guy that just emailed me too. You know, I'm not gonna say his name, but cool brother emailed me talk about how, you know, he's going through some things and, you know, he has, he's, he feels alone and, and how he has a friend that, um, you know, that's going through the same things he's going through. But I would tell him, like, you know, you know, you got a friend going through these things. Those things, so certain things might help for the moment. You know, I know how tough it is. I know how tough it is. You know, both of you guys are going through it. But sometimes you need to separate yourself and make yourself available for God, okay? You need to be patient too. Even, I bat even I'm fighting, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not perfect. I battle with it too. You gotta be patient. Because things don't happen to you, they happen for you. And I'm still understanding that, okay? I hope everybody's still understanding that. that when, when times get rough and people give up on you, you feel like giving up on yourself? Just know that you're getting closer. Just know that you need to get closer. Just know that you need to cancel out all distractions. And now to go back to the to, to the sister, you know, this chosen sister. You know, she seemed cool. And she has her own little, you know, chosen chosen merchandise and and stuff like that. But that's cool. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to get too involved. Just because I, I think I know where I'm going, you know? I, I, I'm not trying to get wrapped up in other people's circus, you know what I mean? No, by all means, respectfully, though. You know, I'm trying to focus on my own glow. I'm trying to understand life as it comes towards me, you understand? And you should, too. Take your time knowing the people. Take your time getting to know people. Take your time to, to see to see if this person is adding value to you. Not just, not everybody adds value to you because, you know, you can you can help those that, that you're adding value to. Okay? But make sure they're not taken away from you. They're not taken away from your mission. Now, me helping somebody, me writing the guy back, is correlating both to each other. Me, you know, the, the, the situation with the email, I did email the guy back. You know, the sister, I will, you know, I contact, I help her contact with my, um, with my, you know, with my store, with the boss and store owner, whatever. But let's be real. It's time, it's, it's time for me, it's time for you to start bossing up, becoming the person that you always were truly meant to be. Letting go of the addictions, letting go of, you know, certain people, certain, certain Satan devices. Be not ignorant of them. Be aware, be cognitive, be be alert. Because the devil came to seek for who he can devour. And people are gonna turn on you. They can turn on you in a blink of an eye. People, people have these motives to use people so they can put themselves on a pedestal. Now I'm not trying to be pessimistic because I wanna preach. You know, I'm not saying I wanna preach, but I I want to speak on things that give people light. So hopefully this gives people light. Put in the chat that God got me. Because I already know God got all of us. All we're chosen, you know. You're anointed and appointed for a mission. And you got to stay pushing. You can't let these little distractions. You can't let people come into your life. Throw you off course. It, it, it's going to hurt to let some of these people go. Trust me. But heartbreak. Slight heartbreak. Oh, whoa. Heartbreak is definitely, it's definitely a part of this, but you'll delay your own route to the promised land. You won't, you won't, you won't reach your fullest potential and you'll feel like God has forgotten you. You know what I'm saying? God hasn't forgotten about you. God is, God is, you know, what thou shall be first shall be last and what's last shall be first. You know, 
Don't take it as, you know, this is punishment. It could be punishment for your disobedience. I'm not, I'm not saying that either. You have to take, you have to sometimes take a step back from the crowd and self-evaluate and put, your, put yourself and make yourself think, like, is it worth it? Who knows? You can't be, can't be afraid to soar alone. You feel me? And even though it hurts, even though the bed is, you know, lonely, it's cold, you know, especially during the holidays, you know, it gets to certain people. I know. Trust me, I have my times too. But, you know, but in the same sense, I'd rather be alone than vulnerable around some people that are just ready to tear you down. You know, I've been torn down. I, you know, and I know these chosen ones feel the same way. You pour it into somebody, you give somebody your all, you give your family, you know, you give your family certain things and they, they turn their back on you. You don't want that stuff to happen to you. And if it does happen to you, you sometimes you just gotta be alone. Make sure you guys are fighting a good fight. Make sure you guys stay prayed up. Stay, make sure you guys repent. You know, we all fall short sometimes. But let's not willfully sin. Let's not willfully hand our lives over to the, these demonic, you know, these demonic forces. We're not battling against flesh or blood. Please believe that. And, you know, just stay obedient, stay aware, stay upbeat. You got this. It's your boy, Japanese. I'm going.